Hello friends, in this video I will show you installation process if you bought Syntec controller from Suron shop probably you will unsure how to install it when I installed my first Syntec to my bike spent a lot of time and in this video I will mount second Syntec in my life to my friend's bike and I will shooting video to show you how to do this why I like Syntec because it has very good customization option so you can uh, do it yourself with using your laptop or your mobile phone and you can uh, change everything uh, power speed any parameter you want that's why I choose Syntec and not choose bug 4000 or bug 8000 with preset The package is very good, here is a lot of soft material to protect the controller. You will get a nice chocolate inside. In this packet uh, we have isolation. Here is extra connector, but we don't need it. And this is a region brake uh, lever. The controller itself. It looks very good in nice aluminium case. Here is our connectors and this is my friend's bike and I will mount Syntec to this bike. First you have to do is remove battery cover and disconnect the switch. Also you need unscrew the lock because we need uh, maximum space here. And screw the front battery holder and screw this bolt and screw these uh, bolts and here the screws which uh, hold this plastic uh, cover under that plastic you will find uh, screws which hold upper parts of controller so unscrew them after we able to move controller to here in this front battery stop we can move to here then we can unscrew motor protection you can completely unscrew this bolt but just release this one to remove this guard and uh, to get space to work with motor wiring it will more comfortable to work with bike if you put the bike on its side we got a not stock motor guard here so we cannot just push back it we will completely remove it from the bike then you should unscrew these screws which hold this plastic cover and after that you can push back your controller also you should unscrew this uh, two small screws and uh, we can remove this plastic cover then we will unscrew all these five screws and after that we will release our controller from all wiring and now we will go to the top of the bike here I stand from the top of the bike I try to pull the controller to me it's difficult for me to do this and shooting in one time because I need two hands for that. So now I will pull it with two hands and after we'll show you results. After you pull your stock controller inside the frame, we get access to these two sockets. We shall disconnect these uh, sockets and then we can completely remove the controller from our frame. My socket is disconnected and I removed the controller and now we can sail it. To connect our Syntec, I mean the 
about commutation, we should do two things. We should connect uh, these power cables to same cables on the frame, which come from the battery. And this small red cable you should connect to toggle switch. I will show you how. And these cables will go to motor. So you should connect it to same cables going from motor. Blue with blue, green with green and yellow with yellow. Very simple. Please don't forget we use heat shrink everywhere in each cable's connection. Also we will plug in this uh, regeneration brake. It's very simple. It will plug in one socket and you cannot do mistake because only one socket matches it. And if you want to use uh, reverse drive, you can use a special button or switch for that. But we have not it yet, so we will not connect some extra buttons or switches. Unfortunately, this Ron has very limited space here for your wiring. Therefore, when we will mount everything, it will be a challenge to place everything here in this space. So to get some extra space, it's a good idea to remove this sensor. It's false sensor or cope sensor. This sensor took a lot of space. Yes, it can be helpful for beginners, but nothing horrible if you just uh, will remove it. Because with this sensor it will be very hard to pack all wiring in this uh, limited space. If you will look from inside, these screws are holding our cope sensor. So just unscrew them and uh, release sensor from your bike. This is how it looks like. Unplug this socket and remove cope sensor from your Suron. Then you should strip this red wire. We shall do it to connect it to toggle switch and connect and screws this power wiring. Try to connect them like that without angles. In this case heat shrink will be easier to fit here. What I mean it's a good idea to have a straight line here without angle like I show you now. After do th same things with this three power wiring which goes to our motor. It's also very simple. Just connect them by colors and don't forget to fit them shrink before you connect the wiring. After you tight your screws, take your heat gun and uh, and shrink the heat shrink. After you finish with your isolation, we will connect our sockets. We have two main sockets here on controller. They look like that. And they have pair sockets on your bike. They are different so you cannot connect something wrong. And it's everything you need to drive your bike. But if you want to use extra features like regen brake or extra reverse button or switch, you can find two extra sockets on your Syntec. This socket is for regen brake and we will use it. Then move your Syntec inside your frame and we need uh, to have our wiring inside the frame. Position the controller like this to have wires inside the frame. And we will have this mounting place in same point where are on stock controller. Syntec is more narrow than stock, so, so you should bend these brackets a little bit to inside, to center. Then we should connect this thread wire to our toggle switch. It should be connected together with this red power wiring. To do that, take a crosshead screwdriver and release this screw. And after you can remove this uh, red power wire. What we need is connect them together and put inside. First idea is just place it like this, but we should understand that this big wire conduct a lot of power and our small red wire just feed the transistors. Therefore, better to place it a little bit from side 
but after you will place it in your toggle switch you must be sure that this uh, small wire is in connect with big one after you place your red wires to their place and tie the screw please check that this small wire is in connect with big one and you cannot pull it out and then we'll continue our installation now we will mount our motor guard and after we able put our bike in vertical position to continue work with it our next step we should remove this front battery holder to normal position this task is creative and we will be grateful to ourselves for removing the cope sensor because even without it here is very limited space the first thing that stick here is this power wiring it lies here and enclosing the battery holder you will run into it so try to pull it out to here to side from controller between controller and the frame just like that after we will place it more accurate but for this step it's okay so now we get some free space here and we can move the battery holder further to front then we should work with all this wiring and sockets unfortunately i cannot uh, shooting because i need two hands to <laughs> do this job but i think uh, you will able to do this also i will do it now and after we'll show you the result it's important you should be sure that you did not clamp any wiring because this battery holder gets some stress while you're driving jumping and if you will clamp wiring between this holder and frame or other parts with time you can damage your wiring and you can get problem with this please be careful on this step we need uh, to move forward so that this more touches to the holes on the frame so these two holes should be together actually only these two screws hold our controller here is main attachment point the upper part of controller is held by wires that go inside to the frame i try move it with my fingers i apply a lot of forces even feel some pain in my finger it does not move here but of course if you want you can make something here to attach upper part of controller to the frame some part of plastic or plastic zip ties this is my friend's bike but on my bike i removed controller to the back because it's more safety place if you try to ride like enduro style sometime you should go over tree like this example with my friend don't you worry here is stock controller we shoot this before this installation and here he hit uh, the tree with his stock controller i want to have my controller in more safety place if you have Suron excel kit from shiva racing you can also remove your controller but you should cut your frame a little bit if you are brave enough of course after cutting you will not able to build stock Suron because you will lose upper shock mount place but believe me having ridden uh, Suron XL you will never want to remove uh, XL kit from your Suron it's completely different bike different feeling okay we go back to installation you can use this stock plastic cover but to mount it you should cut here a little bit what should you do is uh, cut this line a little bit lower where I show with my finger and you will able to mount it higher to, it will sit good and will protect your wiring from dirt and water not for 100% of course but anyway it's better than without this cover also you can do DIY cover it's very simple to do from a stationary plastic folder the plastic there is, is very thin you can uh, cut it with scissors you can do any form and with this you can close this area from any dirt and uh, 
water. After you screw this part, check your wire. I mean, you should turn your wheel. Of course, if you turn to the left, it will loose. But if you turn to the right, it will be tight. So turn your wheel to the right side and check that the wires are not stretched too much. This recuperation brake lever we mount here to work with big finger on the left side. It's better to mount it before installation because after this wire may not be long enough. To mount it you need to move this block. I like to place everything to work with brake with using one finger and in same time to have place to push or again brake lever. As you can see my friend's speedometer is broken. I want to tell you that if you don't like uh, this place for speedometer you can disconnect it from uh, this Echo Sport mode switch and place the speedometer in a safety place on your bike. This is how I place it on my bike. As you can see it's much more safety than on stock. I think you can even mount it somewhere here in a stem area. It will be even more safety. Of course we have a lot of questions about this uh, stock place where they mount speedometer. Seems like they did it especially to sell a lot of spare speedometers <laughs> to the people. Okay, we complete our installation and now time to mount the battery cover. As you can see we have custom aluminium spacers here because my friend have custom battery which is a little bit higher than stock. I don't know why he used this kind of screw to, to mount it. You can use uh, standard uh, axles here, it will look much more accurate. On downside of spacers we did a thread so you can uh, screw your bolt directly to this spacer. Okay that's all. We finished our installation. I did this video because I think it can be helpful for some people who decide to mount Syntec by themselves. As I told you when I first time installed Syntec to my bike to standard place, I, d I spent three days to do this. Of course uh, not 24 7 but uh, two three hours every day. <laughs> After I get this experience, I did this job during two, two and a half hours. So it's very simple and don't take a lot of time if you know what to do. After installation, you should do setting of your controller. Don't forget to do some tuning to your Suron because Suron itself in stock condition uh, is very interesting. But uh, for tall people who over 1 meter 75 centimeters it's really small bike and only after I make it bigger I start to enjoy it to 100% of course good power good range I mean uh, new battery new controller it's very good investment to your bike but I don't see sense to make supercharged BMX who need a lot of power in your bike if it's just not comfortable to your body also I highly recommend our stem, with uh, this stem you can use motor handlebar, this is neck and handlebar, it's very strong, you will never bend it and we can make stem to 65 or 80 or 100 millimeters high. Also you can purchase this kind of uh, spacers for your battery cover. I know that a lot of people using not standard battery, which is higher. They try to make uh, this extender with using 3D printing. I also start from that, but my plastic parts was broken very quickly. And what I see in the internet, a lot of people has same trouble. So if you want to get aluminium, please contact us. I will give all links in the description of this video. Here is first test with new controller. My friend is really happy with new bike. As you can see it's very comfortable. He even able make turn when he climbing. It's a really difficult exercise. If you try to do this you will understand what I'm talking about. And this man has 1 meter 87 centimeters height. And as you can see with our Suron XL kit, he feel himself very comfortable on Suron. Here you can see how he try reverse function, which this controller can give you.
Here is also reverse. It's a really nice feature. Okay friends, thank you for attention. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please ask your questions in comments. Push like button, push subscribe button. Have a good ride.